Hello, everyone. In this video we will discuss how to create and prepare an ER diagram for web-based grading system. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to receive free updates. The project entitled Web-Based Grading System is a grade management system for college. The project will allow the faculty to input the grade of students, prelim, midterm and final grade, based on their assigned load for the semester or school year. Students can view their grades online and the department has the control on the compilation of grades. The first step in the development of the web-based grading system is to prepare the ER diagram that will serve as the basis later on in the creation of the actual database. We will follow the three basic rules in creating the ER diagram. 1. Identify all the entities. 2. Identify the relationship between entities and 3. Add meaningful attributes to our entities. Step 1. Identify all entities. Entity is represented by the rectangle shape. The entity will be our database table of web-based grading system later on. In the web-based grading system we have the following entities 1. Class 2. School Year 3. Student 4. Course 5. Year Level 6. Student Subject 7. Student Grade 8. Subject 9. Faculty Subject 10. Faculty. After we have specified our entities, it is time now to connect or establish a relationship among the entities. 1. The student is enrolled in a course, 1 to 1 relationship. 2. The student belongs to a class, 1 to 1 relationship. 3. The student belongs to a year level, 1 to 1 relationship. This is in a case of regular students. Irregular students may be as in second year but with subjects in first year or advanced subjects in third. In this case the student will be in a year level where the student has most subjects taken. 4. The student has multiple subjects taken, one to many relationship. 5. The student subjects came from the curriculum management or subject management. One to one relationship. 6. The student can view their subject grade, one to one relationship. 7. The course or the program records the compiles the student grades, one to many relationship. 8. Every class belongs to a year level, one to one relationship. Example, BZIT 1A belongs to first year. 9. Faculty handles multiple subjects, one to many relationship. 10. Faculty is assigned to the subject of the students, one to one relationship. 11. Faculty inputs the grade of the students by term, prelim, midterm, final, one to one relationship. The last part of the ERD process is to add attributes to our entities. Class entity has the following attributes ID primary key represented with underline, year level ID foreign key, class name. School year entity has the following attributes. School year ID dash primary key represented with underline. School year. Semester. Student entity has the following attributes. Student ID dash primary key represented with underline. ID no. F name. Name. Will name. Course ID dash foreign key. Year level ID dash foreign key. Class ID dash foreign key. Username. Password. Created. Course entity has the following attributes. Course ID dash primary key represented with underline. Name. Description. Year level entity has the following attributes. Year level ID dash primary key represented with underline. Year level. Student subject entity has the following attributes. Student subject ID dash primary key represented with underline. Student ID dash foreign key. Subject ID dash foreign key. Faculty ID dash foreign key. Student grade entity has the following attributes. Student grade ID dash primary key represented with underline. Student ID dash foreign key. Subject ID dash foreign key. Faculty ID dash foreign key. Course ID dash foreign key. School year ID dash foreign key. Prelim. Midterm. Final. Final grade. Remarks. Subject entity has the following attributes. Subject ID dash primary key represented with underline. Name. Code. Unit. Year level ID dash foreign key. School year ID dash foreign key. Faculty subject entity has the following attributes. Faculty subject ID dash primary key represented with underline. Faculty ID dash foreign key. 
Subject ID foreign key. Faculty entity has the following attributes. Faculty ID primary key represented with underline. Fact no. F name. Name. Will name. Course ID foreign key. Faculty level. Username. Password. Created. Entity relationship diagrams illustrate the relationships between entities in a database. This can be helpful in understanding how the data is organized and how it can be accessed. Additionally, ER diagrams can help in designing and creating a database. Finally, ER diagrams can be used for data analysis and reporting. Entity, a thing or concept that is represented in a database by a row in a table. Entity relationship, the association between entities in a database. ER diagram, a type of entity relationship diagram that shows the relationships between tables and columns in a database. The ER diagram designed for web-based grading system will be a great help and source of information in the next stage of the project which will be the actual database design. Thank you for watching. For more free capstone projects ideas and resources, please subscribe and click the notification bell to receive free updates on our channel. You may also reach us on our Facebook page and website.